Hi there. My name's Lionel Zoquo, and welcome to H2O On The Go, the show that we talk of all things water. Today's topic is water containers, or what I also call water bottles, although not all of them are bottles, as we'll see. Water, as we know, is essential to all human life. We need to get it from its liquid form into our bodies somehow. We don't always have it readily available, so we got to carry it. The question is, how? I'll be answering that today. The first container that we have is your regular standard run-of-the-mill water bottle. And the first thing you should do with this is toss it. You should have never bought that in the first place. Bottled water is evil. You should always drink tap. Always drink tap. A-D-T. Always drink tap. I mean, in Victoria, we have some of the best tap water around. So take advantage of that. Don't let those evil companies win. Next up on the plastic line is you'll find a lot of companies will take a, a cheap plastic water bottle and put their company brand on it. This one says Oak Bay Bikes. They were rude to me, but they gave me a free water bottle, so I guess it evens out in the end. These ones, because they're cheap, will often have a weird plasticky taste to them, and, that w and that's the reason why I find them not very desirable. Next in the plastic line is we have Nalgene water bottles. These ones are super tough, usually of higher quality plastic. And they don't really have that plastic taste that some of the cheaper bottles have. But you got to be careful because these were really popular in the 90s. And back then, they had BPA in them. And BPA is a toxic chemical known to produce cancerous tumors throughout your body. So you're going to you're gonna have to look out and make sure you get BPA free. <clears throat> Another popular plastic water bottle is this one. I like the color. It's blue, like the ocean. Uh, and it's made by Tupperware, which is a pretty good company. They're usually on the uh, leading edge of plastic, so you'll, you're not going to have a lot of plasticky taste with this. It's also quite big. They usually put the, um, the capacity of the, of the container on the bottom. So you can take a look, and just you'll know exactly how much water to have. It's always good to have at least two liters per day. Now, some bottles are made out of glass. And you may, may ask yourself, Lionel, why glass? Glass you could drop. Glass can be shattered. The best thing about glass is it adds virtually no taste to the water. And if taste is important to you, and you're not a Butterfingers like me, then you could go with glass. I tend to only use this on rare occasions where I know that I'm not going to be dropping it, or at least the chances of me dropping it will be at least slimmer. And we... Oh. <laughs> How did this get in there? <laughs> this is called fire water. <coughs> oh! Oh! oh. Whew! Lionel, you cheeky little boy. Um, and last up is we have your regular metal water bottle. This one is painted green for the environment because we all know green is the color of recycling and being conscious, environmentally conscious. The p good thing about metal, for me anyway, you'll notice this one is quite dented. The paint has been chipped off, because as I mentioned earlier, I'm a bit of a Butterfingers. And if you want to drop your water bottle repeatedly, metal is the good way to go. It also has very little additional taste involved with the water, and you can add some flavorings to it if you want, and it won't leach in to the container. and cause decreased enjoyment because who wants that you want to enjoy your water while you're ingesting it to survive so that sums it up those are the popular water containers out there today so pick whichever one you choose and be sure to drink up i'm going to do that right now oh, oh mama just buy me a new car Oh.